Nguyen up next. Auto, Ellen Otto Langway from Great Britain is lifting it in the uh, 74 kilo class also. He is opening with 190 kilos. He has been competing for 43 years, now 62 years old. His job is that of a printer. And I think he also lifted uh, raw because I seem to remember that name. It's an unusual name and I seem to remember pronouncing it before. So I, th I think he also lifted raw. Goes down slowly with control. Stands up with it. And it's three white lights. Good lift. Okay, we have our fourth lifter in the 74 kilo class. Michael Rodriguez of the USA. And says he's a retired FBI agent. That's why they're sitting where they are and I'm sitting where I am. Okay, Alan Autolangue with 205 for his second attempt. His first attempt was ruled good by the uh, jury. He also is in this competitive 74 kilo class, which by the way means that they can weigh up to 163 pounds. So these are not big guys and yet they're lifting uh, well over 400 pounds. Okay, and he is down and up, and let's see. Uh, and it's three white lights, a nice lift for Allen. He's two for two. Okay, Ron Kilpatrick, our lone 120 kilo lifter from Canada, is taking 230 on his second. Getting set up, getting himself psyched. Okay, he's ready. Gets the signal. Pushing through that sticking point. Let's see if he got deep enough. And he did two to one. A little bit high on my side, but good on the other side. Both lifters will squat higher on one side than on the other. That's very common. You often see a two to one decision with um, with, the, with the squat and both referees are calling it correctly from their vantage point. Two hundred fifty three pounds to open in the bench press. He is in the competitive 74 kilo class with four lifters and they're all pretty close to each other. It's anyone's ball game. Every lift counts. Getting his grip, making sure it's wide enough and not too wide to be legal. Brings it down, pushes it up, and that looks very easy and strict. Three white lights, good lift for Allen. Same weight stays on the bar, and they'll adjust the rack heights, adjust the safety racks. And this is for Patrick Mellenfont, going up five kilos in the bench press. Carly in second place in the... Uh, 74 kilo class, so he doesn't want to leave anything on the table. He wants to make sure he makes all his lifts, gets every extra kilo he can, not taking any chances. Five kilo jump in the bench press. This would move him from third to temporarily at least second place if he makes this. Whoa, not quite, not quite. He was smart not to go up any just your bench here, or you get a slightly different groove for your line of travel when you're pressing the bar. It can make all the difference in the world, and the weight can come flying up, so he's giving it another go.
bringing it down. Is he going to get it? Let's see if he locked it out. Yes, he did. He got it to lock out. He made the necessary adjustment. He was in the groove. He got maximum benefit from his supportive shirt. And he managed the lockout. Good lift. Good going. Okay, we have 120 kilos for Patrick Melanfont of means that he uh, doesn't quite weigh 163 pounds. A good wind will blow him away. Good thing he wasn't in uh, Florida on the West Coast a few weeks ago. He would have been blown away. Gets set up, gets his psych, gets his grip, looks up and pulls, and that looks good. Three white lights. Good lift for Allen. We now go to Michael Rodriguez of the USA opening with 205 in the deadlift in the 74 kilo class. This would move him up to second place in the total, at least temporarily. He would still be in third place in deadlift. No, I think it is just a little bit too heavy. Just a little bit too heavy. He'll get another shot at it if he wants it. Okay, 215 for Mike Rodriguez of the United States of America. His personal best is tooth in the deadlift, and Melanfont apparently felt that his second attempt was as much as he was going to be able to get and doesn't want to risk injury, and doesn't matter if he makes a third attempt or not, he's not going to move up. Okay, Alan Otto Langley is taking 207 and a half, going up five kilos after failing his second attempt. He is in third place in the deadlift and third place in the total. He is hoping to move up to second place in the total by pulling this. He, he is hoping to uh, get this and move up one place in the total. Nope. He gave it a try, but it did not budge. Okay. Uh, pre present the medals for 74 kilo class first, individual medals for squat. Taking squat bronze with 185 kilos from Japan, Koichi Taniguchi. A squat silver with 210 kilos goes to Great Britain's Alan Ottolangui. And squat gold with 212.5 kilos goes to the USA's Michael Rodriguez. That'll teach you for jumping up onto the platform. Well done, gentlemen. Great job. Thank you. And now to bench press. Taking bench press bronze with 120 kilos from France, it is Patrick Malenfal. The original bad boy. That's a little cross-lingual joke there. Um, bench press silver with 135 kilos from Japan, it is Koichi Taniguchi. And bench press gold with 140 kilos goes to the USA's Michael Rodriguez. Well done, gentlemen. And now to deadlift. Thank you, gentlemen.
Taking deadlift bronze with 190 kilos, it's Great Britain's Alan Ottolangui. Deadlift silver with 215 kilos goes to Japan's Koichi Taniguchi. And deadlift gold with 220 kilos goes to the USA's Michael Rodriguez. Great job, guys. Thank you very much. And now it is time to crown the new world champion and present the medals for overall in bronze medal position with a total of 520 kilos from Great Britain, Alan Ottolangui. <laughs> overall silver with 535 kilos, it's Japan's Koichi Taniguchi. And your new 74 kilo Masters 3 world champion with 572.5 kilos from the USA, Michael Rodriguez. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please be upstanding for the national anthem of the United States of America. 